I am in the cheapest town in all of Thailand. I think it's pretty cheap here, to be honest. The most expensive hotel in the whole town was 20 pounds. Day 22, I'm in Thailand. I'm still in Koh Samui. I'm about to go and get the boat to leave the island to go back to the mainland. Or a taxi, I'll take a taxi. Beautiful. To get a, a boat to go to the mainland. I'm supposed to be re meeting Reg now, uh, and he's not answering his phone. So, so I told him, I'm not waiting for you, Dan. I can't put everything on a hold. Right, so I'll jump in the boat. I don't know why I keep trying to get in the front. So I've told him. Oh, it is what it is, mate. I don't even know what hotel he's in, so I'm just going to ring him again. But if he doesn't answer now, then I mean, he's gone, mate. He's a gunner. Oh, so tired that I think I didn't go to sleep till like half of two, three o'clock. And I've then woken up at like seven. Hopefully I can sleep on this boat. That's my plan anyway. Right, I've just been dropped off. I feel sick as anything, mate. I'm proper getting trouble sick in cars recently. I think it's these roads and it's these drivers. <sighs> I nearly had to tell him to pull over halfway. I feel sick now, to go in. Oh, and I've brought no food with me, right? And there's no shop. Obviously, I assumed, oh, there'll be a 7-Eleven at the ferry port. Bollocks, there ain't nothing. So I've got nothing, and we're not gonna. I'm not gonna be there for like four hours, mate. Anyway, look at this beautiful island that I'm on. Saying goodbye to it now. We're on the way to. So, so, I don't know where I'm going. San Ferrani. I'm not sure. That way, I assume. Back to the mainland, baby. And then we're gonna stay there for one day, and then we're gonna continue on our journey to Bangkok. So I've got to get on one of these random ferries. I'm not sure which one. It's gonna take me three hours on a boat. Hopefully I don't get seasick. All I can say is let's get straight into this bitch. Right, there's actually a little cafe inside, thank God. Hello, Does the, do these have butter in? Ham and tea. Has it got butter inside? Ham and tea. Is there, is there any? Uh, no. No butter, good, yeah, one please. One of this, one of this. Uh, no, th th this one, please. Mate, I don't know if it's because I'm tired, but I feel like absolute shit today. Oh, I feel so run down. Oh, I need to book a hotel for where we're going as well. Yeah. I bought that champ cheese and ham croissant. All right, look at it. And it reminds me of all them kids in school that used to have their sandwiches wrapped up in cling film and they'd squash them down in the cling film. Oh god, just touching it makes me feel sick, honestly. I think I'm autistic, I must be, because stuff like that just freaks me out. I'm freaked out by that bloody croissant, I'm not eating it, what a waste of money. I don't even know where I'm going, I'm about to get on a boat to somewhere, I'm not sure where. <laughs> right, they're now boarding the boat, Reg still isn't here, I'm gonna have to go start swiping in that because I told him I wasn't waiting. Right, so I'm in. I've sent him his ticket. It's currently 9.53. So I'm telling him, I'm just texting him saying, yo, I'm getting on the boat, mate. Why can't you just turn up on time? This is the best thing about solo traveling, right? You don't have to ever wait for anyone and no one can slow you down. And I've been on this island too long. Just spoke to Reg and I'm pretty, well, pretty sure he's on the wrong pier and <laughs> the boat leaves in five minutes. He says, is it the last one? Is it the last one? He's driven here on his moped. Wow, look how beautiful this is. He's driven here on the moped that he's rented and his plan is to just leave the motorbike at the pier and fuck off. The guy's a madman. This is why he's risky, Reg. Oh, I don't think he's gonna make this boat. I really don't. I hope he does, but I really don't think he's going to make it. Okay, I was worried the boat was going to be horrible. Oh, we've got air conditioning. We're lit. Oh, look like a whole road to myself. Oh, I don't know who they think they're stopping by that. Little kids too. Oh, right, well, I've made it. I've made it on the boat. Where are we going? Let's have a look. Okay, this is where we're going. Obviously, we're the blue dot. Um, he's got three minutes till the boat leaves, he's never going to make it. Also, while I'm waiting for him, I've just noticed there's a full shop over there, so I'm blessed for food. I was probably thinking I'm going to have to survive on the crumbs of that ham and cheese sandwich because I wouldn't be able to actually eat it. <laughs> I don't even know I bought it. That's how hungry I was. Here he is. Run, Reggie, run! Run! This, this guy's trying to get extra legroom window seat and he turning up last. <laughs> Say, G. 
made it. You made it, brother. So what? You've just left. You've just left the moped there. Huh? You just left the moped. Boat. You just left the moped. Yeah, and I've also, I've also put the key in the seat, but it's been locked. You've locked the key in the seat. And now you can't have to put the key in it to get it out because the key's in the seat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right, I've just bought my suite, my hotel suite, right? Because you get a kitchen and everything. And it's cost me £18. And the most expensive one I could find in the city is £20 in the entire city. That's absolutely insane. This is the, probably the cheapest place I've ever looked to book hotels. And I still can't even tell you the name of the city that I'm going to. Come on then, Dan, let me show you around. I mean, there's not much to show you, to be honest. This is the seating area. I have lost Reg. He disappeared about 20 minutes ago. I assume he's gone to the toilet for a talk. Sorry, brother. Thank you. I'm just hoping there is an outside area where I can smoke. Oh, there is. Blessed. Oh. <laughs> okay. Here with this, mate. Bro, this place low-key doesn't look real. I feel like we're about to pull up on the island of uh, Lord of the Flies or Gilligan's Island, some island. Oh, it's so hot out there as well, even with the wind and I mean, you come in, it's so bad. Right, we're just pulling up, we found him. <laughs> He's been walking around with shit on his arse off because he, <laughs> he couldn't find the toilet roll, he didn't want to use the gun. The gun's awesome, by the way. Um, clean so he's been, he was stood in the shop saying, please can I have some toilet roll while he's oh, still man. got poo on his ball. He's trying to make you buy it. <laughs> oh, jokes. But yeah, we're literally just pulling up now as we speak. Look at this. So we are actually on mainland, but we are 50 miles away. <laughs> 50 miles away from the town that we're going to, which is a shame. Because it means we're going to be driving away from this beautiful paradise island looking area and into a town cheap town in Thailand which is good more of actual Thai culture rather than just loads of English boys kicking about getting pissed and beating up Reg oh, <laughs> so we've got this 50 mile boat ride uh, bus ride and Reg was like well why don't we just rent the moped we can do it in 20 minutes you get a fast one <laughs> get a fast one I think you need about four of them strapped together Dan so we have a race you get so I'll, I'll get a bike you get in the fucking I'll, I'll happily get on the bus for the first time ever I would, I would rather be on the bus than on the moped right now I can't be arsed with this fucking bag on my back you can take my bag. I'm not taking no, the bag's part of the race, bro. That's called baggage, Dan. Hello, sorry, crab. I need to know what, which state, which. Um... Okay, what terminal? Okay, you have to get out already. Already. Boarding now. I will fly out right. Oh. Outside? Outside, yes. Yes, on the right. On the right? Yes. And then what number bus? Um, no, head number bus, head for top. No, number bus, what, sorry? Uh, we don't have number boss, but we have staff for you outside. Okay, thank you so much. I think they said we don't have a numbered boss, but they have staff for you outside. I mean, having no numbers on the bus is wild. My back's killing me, mate. I can't wear this bag any longer. I might have to go and um, DH it, because half of it I don't need. I don't need half of it. I can have the small backpack that I've got, so I might have to box it all up and DHL it back to the UK, because it's stressing me out. I don't want to be carrying this around another few months. Wow, what a gaff, what a gaff. Right, I'm pretty sure Surat Thani Sea Tran Ferry, that's where we've been and that's where we're going, Dad. Saudi Crab. Oh, it's this one. You good? Is this the right bus? Thank you. Yeah, what, well, this little one here? How long's the journey? How long's the journey? How long does it take? How long does it take? Yes. Yeah, uh, five minutes. Five minutes? No, it's no bollock. Uh, from here to the airport, two hours. Two hours. Okay, that's more like it. It's gonna say five minutes. We're going to the wrong place, mate. Oh shit! Oh, hopefully, no one else comes on this bus, so I can keep my feet up like this. Right, we're gonna get some work done on the bus. Get the editing done because. Oh, it's killing me. Every night I'm spending four or five hours sat on a computer, bro. I'm trying to vlog all day, travel all day, and make five hours of editing and stuff. Oh, hire an editor. No. It's my money and I want all of it, every last penny. I like that, man. Yeah, thank you very much, boss man. Cheers, brother. Okay, right. We are in Santa Thorny, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's where we are. We should probably check on the map to make sure we've actually got off at the right place. Right, let me sort all my bags out because everything's all over the gaff. 
and I might get myself some of the food, not that. <laughs> Quick temperature check. Hey Siri, what is the temperature? 36 degrees, bro. Woo! It's hot here on Thailand, baby. Right, like I said, we're not actually sure where we are. Let's have a look on a map and see if we're anywhere close to the hotel. Oh, we're mi fucking miles away from the hotel, mate. Are we? Look, you see where the word Surat Thani is? That's where we want to go. I, I've, I've booked us around here as well. Look, plus there, bus terminal, that's where we're supposed to go. And we're all the way over here. It's fucking, we've been done dirty, mate. Bus driver just pulled over and we're like, is, that, is this the bus terminal? He's like, yeah. I should have looked around and thought, wait a minute, this isn't a bus terminal, but I don't care, it is what it is. You should probably book a hotel as well. I bought one. Oh, you bought one. He's bloody leaves it till one o'clock in the morning usually. It's mad, man. Risky Reg, isn't it? Risky Reg, yeah, he's risking it. Is he going to sleep on the street? Who knows? I'm not even convinced he's actually been staying in hotels. I'm low-key convinced he's actually just been keeping on the street, especially the one night he was like, oh, my hotel room had no electricity. I've been getting browsers. But, yeah. <laughs> Where are we going? We're just figuring that out now, mate. In here, look. Into town. The tower, so that's the tower, right? Yeah, how okay. Much? How much? 200 baht. Whoa. I'll get 100. 200 fine. Pay 200, that's cool. We'll do it. That's fine. Wait, 200. What is this? Fucking two quid, mate. Four quid. Yeah, Sam, Jim. Cheers, man. Okay. Let's go. I, I, when I first got here, right, I was bartering on everything. And now some stuff. Yeah, and then some stuff now I'm like, oh. It's not worth bartering, is it? Like, plus, they're so poor. Right, like, just let them have a quid off me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's, when I'm bartering for a jet ski, I mean. Is this the death wagon, is it? That's why it's. Oh, this one over here? Thank God. I mean, it's... <laughs> I wouldn't give it much more of a rating, but it's definitely less scratches. Ah, we get we get in the back, do we? Is it safe? You got a seatbelt? Nope. <laughs> of course not. We're in Thailand. Oh, thank God. This is why I lose everything I own. I just drop everything all the time. Just carry a bag for no reason. Ah! Ah, yo, that is hot, hot. Are you smoking? Smoking? Do you want a lighter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Right. Okay. Oh, what, you got a Thai stick? Let's have a look. What is St it? Uh, strong, like a... Uh, what is it, bamboo? bamboo? Yeah, bamboo. Not, 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 not oh, bamboo. Oh, bamboo leaf? Uh, near, smooth. near the river. Near the river? Yeah, this, near the river. Down by the river. What, how do you stick it together, then? No, no, stick it. You don't stick it, you just hold it? Yeah, you hold it. There we go, that's how they're doing it out in Thailand. No wristers out here, Dan. Strong, like a... Uh... Little Thailand daughter, yeah, I'll smoke one of them. <laughs> this looks like it's gonna be nasty, bro. We're gonna try it, mate. I ain't fucking smoking on it. I'll smoke it, look at it. Look at that skill, mate. Oi. He's thinking of What about? But no thinking. Yeah, no sticky needed, horn, mate. Jeez. I don't know if I can actually smoke it on the uh, on camera, but I'll let you know how it goes, Dan. And welcome to Surat Thani. Right, no, we're definitely out in the sticks now. This is all looking a little bit... I wouldn't say slums, I'd just say more of a residential area. Rather than a built-up town or whatever. Although, the, I just had a look on things to do and number 26 was get a taxi. <laughs> where? To where? <laughs> oh, I love it. I just love being somewhere that's just completely different to normal for me. Normal for me. Obviously, these people, this is normal, mate. Look, they'd blow their mind if they came to Derby. They'd be like, oh, well, <laughs> why is this place so horrible? <laughs> oh, a little five-a-side pitch. I'd fucking, I would love a game of football, I would. Find a couple of little Thai kids and that. That's a little weird. Only in your mind, you nonce. <laughs> Are we here? Yeah. Are we here, brother? Thank you so much. I think he's going to drive. Whoa. <laughs> Man's driving a bit further. He's driving. <laughs> I think, he, I think he thought I was moaning that we weren't close enough to the hotel. It's only that <laughs> he's decided to drive. <laughs> That's how you arrive in style. <laughs> Hello, my man. 
How are you today? I'm very good. How are you, sir? It's very hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 36 degrees, I think. You know, it's very crazy hot. Crazy hot, yeah? yeah. Not for you. It must be we normal for you. We are going to summer already. We are going to summer already. Oh, you're going to summer yeah, already? Yeah, now it's summer already. Oh, we're in summer? Yeah. Okay, summer. yeah, man. Amazing. Right, let me grab my bags, brother. Can I say hello to camera? Of course you can, my hello, friend. Hello, how are you? What's your name? Yeah, Boom. Mr. Boom. Mr. Boom? Yeah, correctly. Hey. In Thai, we have a nickname. Everyone have a nickname because the, the real name, the first name, and the family name is very, really, very really long. Oh, go on, give me the full name. Keti Kun Nim Jaren Wan. Oh, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Keti Kun Nim Jaren Wan. I uh, won't even offend you and try and say it. <laughs> okay, so, okay, beautiful name. Nickname is better. Nickname is better. Yeah. Nickname is better. And what was yours? Mr. Bum? Yeah. Mr. Why Bum. did you choose that name? <laughs> uh, it's because the nickname, everyone will try to maybe the animal or maybe the sound, something like that. Because we would like only one, one word okay. to become very easy to communicate to tell everyone. So yeah. why did but why bomb? Why did you choose know. like lion? Or... My, 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 my mum and my dad. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's like a family nickname. And for you, yeah, for you, passport. Oh no, he's not checking in. He's not checking. Oh, okay. He's going to a different hotel. Oh, okay, yeah. Not sure why actually. <laughs> no, I've said it out loud. Why didn't you just book here? Okay, yes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Five hundred fifty. Five hundred and fifty. Yeah. That's about ten quid, I think. Five fifty is cheaper than this one. It's a one. It saves me fucking. It's a one bed. It's a one bed. Single. Single bed. Yeah, Single but it's, bed. it's it's not clean yet. Yeah, so that's, right, that's yeah. right. He can leave yeah, the stuff yeah, in my room. room is ready now. That's right. He don't get any girls anyway, so. Okay. Yeah. Other than when he pays for them. So, <laughs> so Lee is hundred and eight hundred and thirty. Wonderful. So twenty pounds for a hotel room, the biggest one he says, and it's got a balcony. This entire town seems too cheap. It's worrying me because <laughs> usually you get what you pay for. So I'm a bit concerned that this is so cheap. But I'm sure I'm being reassured now by Mr. Bum that hey, it's going to be okay. Okay, straight up the stairs. I'm a bit concerned about the state of this TV. <laughs> the last CRTV in our hostel 25 years ago. Oh, okay, it's like, it's a memorabilia piece. Thank God. <laughs> okay, this place looks all right, man. It smells okay. That's normally a good telltale sign straight away. So this is what 20 pound in Santi Thuni gets you. Okay, now the smell's kicked in, I can't lie. Oh, nice big bed. Let's see the shower. Oh, this looks, oh mate. I'm well happy with that. This is the best 20 pound hotel. Wow. Oh, it's actually cooler outside than it is inside. Oh, there we go, 20 pound in Thailand. Best 20 pound you're gonna spend, mate. I mean, I don't know, you could probably convince somebody to suck you off for 20, but. Quick, everyone take a screenshot, Reggie, just put a t-shirt on. <laughs> okay, so I am pretty sure we are in the cheapest place I've ever been to on the planet. If the most expensive hotel cost 20 pounds a night, the most expensive in the whole town, then I think we're gonna be able to go and get some absolute bargains. So come along, I'm gonna show you how much everything actually costs in Surat Thorny in Thailand, Dan. Right, my trusty uh, receptionist here is telling me there's a food festival on. It's yeah, only on yeah. one week a year, and it's right now yeah. today. Yeah, really. It's, it's, uh, it's end tomorrow. It ends it's tomorrow. End tomorrow. Look, perfect. Yeah. Okay, show, show me where, Dan. Right, Reggie, Reg, you ready to rock and roll? Fifteen bar. That's Fifteen bar, mate. Drink of it. Yeah. Isn't it? How that's much that's is that? That's about ten p, twenty p, twenty p for a can of what, can of strawberry sure, drink, mate. Really nice. This is the cheapest place on earth. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be in the comments. No, India's cheaper. Egypt, Egypt was pretty cheap to be honest with you. Stupid yeah, cheap. cheap, ridiculously cheap. But I've still got there was still hotels for two hundred quid in Egypt, mate. I reckon we just take a nice stroll, a few beers on the way, finish up at the night market, couple of scrandans there, and then we can head on back to the room and edit the vlog. Sounds like a nice little relaxed day today. Finally, chilling. Saudi crab. In it, there's no bloody terror, ter not terror. I hope there's no terrorists, no tourists here apart from me and me and Risky Reggie over here. Then, oh, for now, I think this is the first place I've been that, uh, where everyone's actually just quiet. Look at this whole street, can you hear that? It's nice, I nothing like it. in it. It's nice, I love it. Just walking in the middle of the street, right? First things first, let's go to this corner shop and see what we're gonna pay on a couple of drinks because I'm fucking. 
I'm well thirsty then. Oh, look, they've still got the petrol station here. Oh, little cat. Hello. Bro, you can get a pack of noodles, look. 10 baht, which is about 5p. Is that right? That can't be right. One sec, 50 is a quid. It's 20p. Oh, I just managed to get a bottle of water and an energy drink for, what, 30p? Ha! <laughs> That's absolutely insane. Look at these little, cute little shots. Saudi crab, hello. Yeah. And beer, beer. Beer? Oh, beer. we'll have a beer, yeah. Oh, but I'll, beer. Okay, we'll have a beer. You've sold it to me. <laughs> Bloody hustler you, are you? Yeah. Hustler. <laughs> oh. oh, not in there. Oh, in the freezer. Okay. Special beer for special boy. Oh. Song. Two, yeah, two. I've got no time. That's awful. Just two, just two. <laughs> I'm not buying the whole bloody shop. <laughs> oh, you're funny, we're leaving now. How much do I owe you? Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah, what's all the cost? How much does it cost? Money. How much money do you want? Uh, money, how much? Two. Living songs. Twenty. <laughs> okay, one. You're Two. Okay. And there you go for being a sweetheart. Oh, the light. For so beautiful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> with straw? Nah, not with a beer. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Thank you so much, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, what a cutie. Bless her. She can barely even stand up. Oh look, fellow white people. Hello. <laughs> oh, that heat is a machine, Dan. And this is probably the hottest it's been since I've been here. Because it was hotter in Chiang Mai, but obviously there was the pollution. Bangkok is hot. Yeah, but again, there's loads of pollution there. This is like 36 degrees, but actual heat blistering down onto your skin. Oh, this is how hot I am. Oh, hang. <laughs> I mean, that water's horrible, but. <sighs> ah, fire. Feels a lot less cooler now. Doesn't look like there's a restaurant down here. I was, oh, maybe there. Maybe that's it. What well, in the restaurant? Have we come the wrong way? The restaurant? Restaurant. Sun yeah. Grandan. This way, come here, this way. Oh, amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, so nice. Oh. Oh, look at this cute little gaff. Looks like having a little girl's tea party. <laughs> Tell you what though, I've always been iffy about anywhere that has pictures on the menu. It's just like, that's not a great sign. Although I suppose it's good because if that was just written on the menu, I wouldn't have, <laughs> wouldn't have much clue what I'm ordering. So let me have a look at the menu. Oh, hello. Reggie's getting spaghetti. <laughs> Can't even yeah. say it with a straight face. Reggie's getting spaghetti bolognese. I want to try something oh. weird. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Pop, meat, beef. Oh, beef, 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 beef. 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 Okay. Also, is, is this pork? Yeah, yeah, one of them as well, please. One one as well. Spicy, not spicy. Uh, house spices. House spices. Uh, little spicy? pet. Little pet. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Okay, and we're going to try some of this, what I assume is pork belly bites, which if it is, it looks loud. And that's 145, so that's £2.70, I think. We're going to go with that. £2.70 for pork belly bites, which looks like a main dish to me. Absolute bother. <laughs> this is weird. On the menu, you can have a soda, refreshment, water, or a cold towel. <laughs> Let's get a cold towel. Say hello. 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 Say what one fun. Say what one fun we say. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> okay, cold towel. How cold is it? Not very cold. It's more wet towel, I'd say. Oh. Oh. I mean, that was not worth the money. That was the biggest ripoff I've had so far today. So much. This is this is pork, yes? Yeah, pork. Pork. You taste spicy. I taste any bit spicy. There's bones in it. Oh god. This doesn't look like what. 
Oh, go, my God, my God. Mate, that's horrible. It it's so spicy and there's bones in it and it, why has it been served on this dog plate? I don't even want to try it. You have to try it. Try it. I'm trying it for the vlog, mate. Right, take a whole piece, man. Take a whole piece. Don't bitch out. Yeah, it burns all the flavour. What do you reckon, man? It's so hot. It's so spicy. This place is really nice, okay? I'm not putting the place down. No hate towards the restaurant. My personal preference is I don't like that. It's too spicy for me. Right, enough of the food. Anyway, this isn't a food review channel. I'm very specific about that. We're going to continue going and we're going to go into the town and see what else we can get up to. Dan. Right, we're a little bit lost on what there is to do. I think this is the problem, right? If you if you go to like a super touristy place, there's loads of stuff to do, right? But if you want to go somewhere where it's not as touristy, the, re the reason it's not as touristy... I think we need a bite. We need, maybe we need a bite. But it's just because it's just, just normal people cutting about their day, just going to the normal shops and stuff. So, I mean, I mean, it's nice. It's nice for it to be relaxed and it to be calm and it's, snow it's still hot. I'm not moaning, right? I'm just thinking, do you know what I mean? And to, to be fair, some days it's nice to just have a day off doing loads of stupid stuff all day and just have a nice little stroll around the local town. So let's go see what other cheap stuff we can buy since we are in the cheapest town in the whole of the world. <laughs> I've just made that up. I know I've put that as the title of the video, but this is definitely one of the cheapest places in the world that I've ever been and I've been to a fair few countries. Oh, what's up? Where am I going? I don't know. Do you know anywhere good? What do you want there? You Cocaine. No, <laughs> only joking. Oh. I'm okay, thank you, brother. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Centre's that way? Yeah, Okay, we're going that way. 20 bar? 20 bar for two? No, but... For two. Same distance. Very cheap, yeah. And it is very cheap. There you go, brother. Okay. Okay. To be fair, I mean, two kilometers, mate, that's decent. It's too hot to walk anyway, so. Let's see where we end up. We're going to have a little mooch bite in the center, and then we're going to head back to the hotel because I need to edit this video because the videos are every day. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and as always, comment the size of your. Shoot. Obviously we're in Thailand, so there's no actual health and safety. You can do whatever you want, whenever you want, with whoever you want, for however you long you want. <laughs> we are deep in the heart of nowhere. <laughs> and I love it. This is what I'm all about. This is what I've wanted. But we are going to have to fly somewhere tomorrow, probably Bangkok. And then we're going to have to fly to somewhere else. I'm thinking Vietnam, I'm not sure. So if you comment down below where you want to see me go. For now, for now, my battery's about to die and I've used two of them today, so we're out. I'm sorry. I love you, but hit the subscribe button and I'll come back tomorrow with more content and I'll tell you where we're going to end up. Hello. <laughs> Safe. Oh, is this sugar? Sugar juice? Sugar cane. Oh, one, please. I've only ever had this in Cuba and it was so pank. Oh, God, it doesn't taste like Cuba. <laughs> 